Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dapo Willis. Now guys, um, I keep getting bashed a lot because people seem to feel like I don't do enough content for new traders. I seem to get... Guys, in my mind, everybody trades Forex, right? And in my mind, we don't really have that many newbies. So um, I tend to make a lot of this content for people who are already traders but struggling. Like I tend to make content for traders who have been trading two, three, four, five years. And then I slowly I started to realize, based on the questions I was getting a lot, I started to realize that we have a lot of new people who actually want to trade Forex. So lately I've decided to tailor some of my content to, to, to fit a lot of you guys who are just coming into Forex for the first time. So guys, today I want to discuss with you guys, especially the new traders, what exactly you're going to be facing in your first year of trading. Like what I like to do on my channel is I like to come and brief you guys, you know, tell you guys what exactly is going to happen in the future so that from now you know exactly how to prepare yourself. Just imagine somebody's giving you an entire roadmap. Um, you will be definitely farther, on, farther off in your journey as compared to somebody who did not know exactly where they're going. Consider me, my channel, the Google Maps of Forex trading. Like I'm giving you the entire framework. So guys, today I'm going to be speaking to you guys and educating you guys what you're most likely going to face in your first year of trading so that you know exactly how to adjust yourself accordingly. Now guys, before I get into the nitty gritties of the video, you already know what to do. I only require you guys to do one thing smash the subscribe button right there and drop me a like for this video because it helps the channel grow you know it helps the algorithm and guys if the channel grows it makes me a lot more motivated to keep on giving you guys free value <laughs> So let's get started. What are you expected to face in your first year of trading? Now, guys, the first thing um, that I like to, to, to talk about today in your first year of trading. Now, guys, remember I've been trading for nine years, and before I put together this video, I I, I, I did some research in my mind. Right, I, I went back in time to basically remember all the things that I faced in my very first year of trading. I started trading about. I discovered forex in about. I discovered forex in the year of. 2011, I think late 2011, 2012. So um, at the time of this video, uh, I've probably done about nine years in the market. So back then, what were the major challenges? What 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 were exactly was I facing in my first year of trading? First things first. Um, I like to say the first thing you're most likely going to face is a bit of confusion. Um, why confusion? Because there are a lot of strategies out there. Okay, there are a lot of indicators. There are a lot of webinars, seminars, YouTube channels, gurus, pulling you in different directions, indicators. So you don't exactly know what to use and what not to use. It's a major problem for a lot of newbie traders. And if you're coming new into this market, you're definitely going to face this issue because once you go on Google and you type Forex trading, the amount of results that come up are pretty much overwhelming there's so guys there's so many ebooks there went over 2000 indicators which of these should you be using for your trading so this is one of the challenges that you know you're most likely going to face now the question is how do you combat this entire confusion process before you even kickstart anything you need to look for i'll just give you a little hint you need to look for um you need to look for like a mentor okay like you need to you need to look for a very good forex trader who has been trading the market for years and knows exactly what they're doing and is getting consistent result and you want to like you want to religiously follow that person's path it could be me it could be anybody else right my point is you want to take one one trading methodology one person who knows exactly what they're doing and stick to that person why because it can take you as much as 12 to 24 months the entire confusion stage can take you 12 to 24 months confusion like you can be in a confusion stage for 24 months because 
what's going to happen is first of all you're learning all this stuff then you start going from jumping from strategy to strategy testing this and guys in the process you're losing a lot of money so how do you come back you're just coming into forex how do you combat the confusion stage first of all get all the basic information secondly find yourself a mentor do some research are they doing well you can come on my youtube channel if you like exactly what i see i have a program which is very affordable a hundred dollars pick it up run with it and it will definitely put you very far off in your journey as opposed to somebody who has no guidance so guys the very first thing you're going to face as a new trader in your first year is confusion how do you combat confusion is by getting yourself a very very well learned and exposed trader with consistent results All right, guys so secondly in the confusion stage you want to also identify your goals what exactly are my goals so what I mean, go everybody like goals, goals, goals. The word goals just sounds very motivational speakerish. Yeah, <laughs> give me a sec, guys. It sounds very motivational speakerish, but guys, with anything in life, you need to know exactly what it is you want out of something. If you're going into forex, set a goal. Okay, say to myself, I want to make 10% a month, 20% a month. Set realistic goals. The major, the primary issue with a lot of forex traders is they set unrealistic goals. Period. We would have more successful traders today. Excuse me, guys. Just my seat. I need to balance my seat in my back. Guys, I'm an old man now. I, need, I have back issues. All right, cool. Let's, let's, that's fine. So, guys, the, the, the primary issue with a lot of Forex traders today is they set very unrealistic goals, especially new traders who are coming into the industry. Very unrealistic goals. As a new trader, you should be looking to make between 10 to 20% every month okay that is fine because think about it 20 percent divided 20 percent multiplied by 12 months that's 240 percent in a year guys there's no investment vehicle i keep preaching this there's no investment vehicle in the world that will ever give you that kind of returns okay and here you have forex all you need to do is trade twice a month obviously with your strategy and you're making 10 to 20 percent every single month know your goal that is a realistic goal don't go following all these people in group chat signal groups and all that who are promised you 240 percent 600 percent monthly returns of 50 percent it does not you will end up blowing your what account okay guys and that takes me to my next point which is the second thing you're most likely going to face in your first year of trading is blown accounts right this is something that a lot of traders cannot avoid especially when they're new into this market you will blow accounts you will blow accounts why because in your first year of trading you're testing you're trying this you're trying this beginner's luck comes into play you place some of your first few trades you're making a lot of money you're like mm, forex is easy why is dapper will is always talking preaching preaching talking oh did it the forex is easy 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 and then bam shit you hit your first major loss bam and guys let me tell you something about forex when the losses come they come like three four five six seven times in a stretch if you're unable to handle yourself your emotions kick in you go into revenge trading and you will just mess up your entire account right so this is one thing that most traders are unable to avoid in their first trading year so prepare yourself for some blown accounts now how do you combat blown accounts so that you want what i'm trying to do here guys i'm trying to position you guys in a way that you are positioned for success straight off the bat like once you come into forex i'm trying to position you in such a way whereby you are most likely to succeed so if you don't take all these things into consideration you will fall into a lot of trouble so the second thing is blown accounts how do you combat blown accounts how do you ensure that i'm going into forex and i'm not going to lose money very good question. Risk management is a very important factor. Everybody, nobody likes to talk about risk management. Guys, risk management in Forex is literally the most basic mathematic formula ever. Like, if you did year three, year four math, right, grade five math, for um, Forex risk management is easy. It literally, they teach it in fourth grade math, right? So, how? what do I mean by risk management? Always risk between three to five percent of your account simple math i have a one thousand dollar account what is three percent of one thousand dollars thirty dollars what is five percent of one thousand dollars fifty dollars that's it 
and in forex always ensure that every trade you're getting into you're risking less to win more what does that mean if i'm risking 50 dollars, i should be looking to make 150 dollars back right so how do you combat blow, a lot of blown accounts how do you ensure that you don't lose a lot of money in your first year of trading guys risk management will save you good risk to reward ratio which obviously is risking one to win three and very good risk management will save you in this industry now guys um another way you can come back not having a lot of blown accounts is obviously like i say get yourself a mentor get yourself a very good forex course that has all these things incorporated risk management has a good risk get yourself a good risk management tool when i was building the forex mastery program i realized that a very important aspect of a trader's journey is risk management so i included a risk management tool that would that would literally is a calculator that helps you calculate how much risk you should be risking in terms of lot size let me let me explain this right a lot of people have maybe one thousand dollars in their account and they don't really understand the trading volume should i trade one lot five lots 0.5 lots 0.3 lots yes a lot of traders know they want to risk three percent but they don't know the trading volume that three percent equals the one thousand dollars that doesn't make any sense i'll make it make sense now so i want to risk fifty dollars of a seven hundred and fifty dollar account how many lots should i buy how do i calculate how do i make three percent into a lot size of seven hundred and sixty dollars like what lots so i want to risk five percent of it of seven hundred and fifty dollar account right um what lot size should i be trading okay to equate five percent how many lots equates five percent of seven hundred and fifty dollars okay that makes a lot of more sense now <laughs> how many lots equates five percent of you understand seven hundred and fifty dollars how do you calculate that like that is where things get a little bit complex so on the forex mastery course i put a risk management calculator the calculator will ask you what is your account size how many pips are you willing to risk how many pips is your stop loss and how much of your account are you willing to risk you put in all these parameters which obviously you already know from your little analysis and it will tell you how many lots you should buy or sell all these little things are very very crucial in your trading especially when you want to avoid having multiple blown accounts if not guys the brokers will eat you raw <laughs> they will eat you raw they're sharks in this game okay people like me i live off shit does that fly People like me, where people are getting stopped out is exactly where my take profit is, right? I will eat your stop loss for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So best believe you're coming into this Forex market, you're going up against ex traders who have nine years worth of experience like myself, right? People who understand the patterns in the market, who've been doing this for many years, who know a fake out when it's about to happen. You're going up against people like me. So you want to be extremely, and trust me, I'm not like, there are a lot of professional traders out there, especially traders who trade for the banks. They are ready. Every day they are on the desk. They are mathematical geniuses. They are ready to eat you out. So guys, take all these things I'm saying into consideration. Take all of this, you know, in good faith. All right, guys. So that leads me to my third point. Sorry, I keep looking at my book. That leads me to my third point, which I previously touched earlier, which is actually jumping from strategy to what? To strategy. Okay. Jumping from strategy to strategy. Guys, this like jumping from strategy to strategy was me. Like every day, every two weeks, actually every two weeks, I used to go on Google to type the best forex trading strategy, and then I would read up on this guy. He would tell me how the strategy worked for him. I would change my strategy, and then after two weeks, when it doesn't work anymore, and that's exactly how I spent the first one year, six month, changing strategy after strategy reloading my account depositing depositing guys it literally became an addiction for me so these are this this is guys i don't know how to stress this enough but you will most likely face this in fact you're gonna face this no consistency when it comes to strategy because you don't know what works okay and a lot of traders don't understand that strategies are based on statistics some strategies work 50% of the time, 60% of the time, 80% of the time. So a lot of you guys will pick up a strategy. This is the issue with strategies, right? A lot of you guys will pick up a strategy that works maybe 60% of the time. And then you win two trades, 
Don't forget, a strategy that works 60% of the time simply means that out of 10 trades, you will win only 6 times and the remaining 4 times is going to be losses. Now, you have to remember that the losses can come before the winners start coming. So this is what, how it can most likely play out. You might have one win. Don't forget, we're gonna in a span of 10 trades, we have six winners and four losses. So you can have one winning trade, two winning trades, and then you can have a series of one, two, three losses straight up. You have two winning trades, three losses, then you have a winning trade, and then you have a loss. So what has actually happened is you have three so you've had two winning trades to kick off. Next thing you have is three losses straight. You have one winning trade and then you have a loss. You go through this period and then next thing you're like, this strategy is not reliable, I don't like it. Whereas if you actually had stuck to the strategy long enough, you would have found out that you had actually overcome the maximum amount of losses in the strategy and then what all you needed to do was to keep trading with that strategy and the winners would have come you know, knocking on the door within no time. Don't forget, the winners might not come six in a straight, you might in a row, you might have one win, three losses, and then you have one win, one more loss, and then you have win, 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 win. That is exactly how strategies work. But as a new trader, you don't really know that. So when the market doesn't exactly give you exactly what you want, you start getting a very, very frustrated, and you're like, this strategy doesn't work. It does not work. I don't want to trade this strategy anymore. It doesn't work. I'm gone. I'm done. Whereas if you had stuck to the strategy, you will have made some profit, you know, on the long run. So guys, in all honesty, I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, if indeed you want to stand the best chance of success once you come into the market, you need to get yourself a very good trading program, okay? I have a, one of the best trading programs out there. I'm not saying this because I created it, I'm saying this because I have taken a lot of trading programs and I've learned a lot from other people, okay? And I have tested all those things and I've put everything together, okay? The most reliable way to statistically beat the market. I put it together in the Forex Mastery program. And guys, if indeed you want to be able to be successful in your first year of trading, I suggest you go, go ahead and grab yourself a copy. A lot of you guys are coming into this market with a lot of money. A lot of what? A, a lot of money. Okay, a lot of money. So instead of throwing away $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 in the market, I suggest you grab yourself the Forex Mastery course. The link is going to be down below before you venture into this industry. Understand that it's nine years worth of experience in that program. So guys, what I'm doing is I'm putting you years ahead. You come into this market, you have years ahead of information. Or if you don't want the Forex Mastery program, you can look for a very good Forex trader who you can see analyzing the way I'm analyzing and you can get their program. But guys, guys, you cannot shy away from Forex education. You need to get yourself educated or else you will end up with, first of all, confusion for the first two years. Okay. Blown accounts, guaranteed. Jumping from strategy to strategy, guaranteed. If you know you don't want to waste five years of your life, Without any Forex success, do yourself a favor and grab the Forex Mastery program down below or a very good Forex program if you don't obviously like my face. But guys, I'm pretty sure you like my face. All right, guys, so that's my time. Let me quickly recap. So the first few things you're going to face in your Forex trading in your first year, confusion, blown accounts, and jumping from strategy to strategy. These are the most likely things you're going to face in your, face in your first year of trading. So guys, I hope I've been able to shed some light on this topic. Um, catch you in my subsequent videos. Love you guys very much. Guys, don't forget, drop me a comment. Which of these issues are you facing at the moment? Drop me a comment down below and tell me what exactly what challenge you're facing at the moment and I'll be in the comments to help you guys out. Alright guys, take it easy. Love you guys very much. Adios and peace out. Cheers.